Hello and welcome to another episode of Stuck in the Nail. Uh, I think this is episode nine. Is that correct, Mal? Already? Yes. Nine? nine. Nine? Nine? Wow, one short of ten. Wow, almost there. We're almost there, people. Dude, we're almost we're in the almost, double digits. Double digits, baby. Well, um... Yeah, I'm Daft Hobbit, and with me, as always, is Echo Five Romeo. How you doing, bruh? Uh, I like another new week. You know who dis? Let's get it. Let's get it down. <laughs> yes, it's the future is now, right? Yeah, the future is now. Quite literally. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we got some good stuff for you today. Something that's near and dear to both of our hearts. We're going to be talking mainly about communications. I'm going to warn you guys right now. This is going to be boring as shit, so stick around if you want. Um, it's actually not boring because so much rides on communication in this game, in any type of coordinated event, whether it's live, whether it's in a video game or real life. Like, wouldn't, wouldn't you say? So much rides on it. Uh, yeah. I mean, it is going to be boring for the people that just want to have voice activation on their preferred shitty voice platform. Um because they're going to be like, well, that's an inconvenience to me, and I don't want to hear that mm-hmm. I'm wrong, right? Uh, but the reality of the matter is, is if you're using voice activation and you are operating within a team of people, you're wrong. You're wrong, you right? Should be not doing that. And we don't want to come off as douchebags. We already do that. It's just in our DNA. Okay. Yeah, like we look we're, like douches. We're douches. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we anyway. Just, just, just sit with us for a little bit here. Open your minds and try and learn some new stuff here, because a lot of people, the, the, um, what would you say, the attitude that we've gotten from other people in groups that we've been in or people we bump into on the internet, they are so hesitant. They push back on our on our comm structure. I don't know why, and I'm sure other people out there that have ran communities, like in Arma or other mil sims, or maybe even in Star Citizen. Like, is that what you're getting to? Are you getting more people being like, oh, I have to set up a key bind? Uh, I have to download a new program? Uh, like, am I wrong there, Echo? Is that, that's what we're getting, no, right? You're not, you're not wrong. I, I, I am quite surprised at how, how much pushback people give in a game that is so comp like if we were playing battlefield okay i could i could understand right? yeah like i really could like a but call we're playing a very complex game and i don't ever understand why miners feel like they need to be in the same channel as dudes who are doing bunker missions as dudes and ladies who are doing bounty missions right like why do those three groups ever need to be in the same channel together right they're all three doing three different things they require three different, like, conversations. Yet these six people always want to talk over each other, and I'm not. I don't. I don't. Under- brain hurdy. I don't. I my like. Yeah. Maybe I am not as my brain is not as developed as some of those individuals, but that's probably the case for both of us. Like yeah. our brain capacity is 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 allocated for other things like breathing. Uh, right. Blinking. <laughs> blinking. Swallowing. Yeah. Shitting. Like things like yeah. that. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how people can do it. I mean, there's a difference between like four to five people hanging out in a Discord channel and they could all right. be doing their different things. Like we have some casual nights where we're just hanging. You know, yeah. people are in different video games, you know, kind of just on that grind. Like, hey, I'm doing my thing, right. you know, whatever. Um, but when it's time to get weird. Yeah. People just all of a sudden want 30 people in the same channel. I can't do it. No. I guess because their buddy is on the ground assault and they're in the air and they want to be able to tell them yeah. that funny joke, I suppose. So uh, this is a bad analogy, but maybe, but it's real. So maybe it's not. But when we get tactical in, in our organization amongst the privateers, like when it's time to, to work, it sounds bad, but like we, we do work, we find work, we, we, we pick up work, we pick up the slack, we do things. When it's time to get operational, like all of the privateers, they all agree too. That's like a requirement to get into our group because we're so strict about our comms discipline. Sometimes we're not. Sometimes we slack off. But when it's operational time, you better be in the right channels with your right team. And you should have a couple, one to two 
push to talk buttons set up almost at all time, any given time, like the basic entry level privateer has two PTTs set up without fail. Correct. Yep. Entry level. Um, but it's, it's time to go to work. We're trying, we're trying to operate. We're trying to achieve something greater than just your average video game when it's time for Mm -hmm. that to go on. And none of the privateers have any problems with that. Now, we do bump into other orgs that don't have that same structure or discipline, not to say that they're better or worse at comms. It's just different from what we like, and we have issues. (laughs) Big time issues. Uh, I mean, let's talk about the elephant in the room, right? Let's talk about the different platforms that are available for Star Citizen (laughs) and available for us to use, or more specifically, what I've seen other orgs use, right? And I guess we could kind of, uh, go back and forth about the pros and cons of each of those and why yeah. we believe that and you can make the decision for yourself so um the four com like platforms that i've seen used is gilded right um which if you're not familiar with gilded you should download gilded and check it out it's yeah. pretty cool you'll hear that um tonight. yeah it's got a phenomenal voice um it sounds good there's tons of options for you to be able to cross talk through sub channels um there's sub channels which is huge um there's whispers there's broadcasts there's all kinds of things that that just make gilded voice communication very very strong mm-hmm. um and their texts right uh their their ability to have text is strong as well and i would argue that it kind of goes above and beyond that gilded also o- offers a few more like organizational channels mm-hmm. to allow you to organize and structure information to your community in a way that you see fit there's a ton of tools and um you can use them however you like yeah and we'll link all this stuff below by the way oh so yeah if you're absolutely. listening so gilded so, is maybe we should start with like the least amount of effort one should we talk about Discord and then come back to Gilded? Because Discord was kind of the predecessor. Or maybe, was yeah, it TeamSpeak? Right? TeamSpeak if came you first, go on right? It, uh, well, yeah, TeamSpeak did come first, right? So mm. you, you talk about video, voice comms in the era of circa 2007, 2008, right? I would, mm, yeah, somewhere around in there. I, this, uh-huh. We'll call it 2005, five, six. That's when I started PC gaming, right? You had your mumbles. You had your Roger Wilco's. You had your team speaks, right? And you had Skype. And Skype was pretty much what everybody used that didn't know or care to understand how to work uh, Roger Wilco, Mumble, or TeamSpeak. Like, mm. fire up Skype. It's free. I can have my buddies in. Everybody's yeah, Skype was the talking go-to. all over each other. It's, it was a go-to, right? It was yeah. easy. Everybody could do it. But the more serious groups and communities use those other programs. <laughs> um, TeamSpeak being the one that sort of survived the test of time thus mm. far. And I attribute that to the developers just being awesome. They're really good. Well, they're good developers. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Um, so TeamSpeak offers phenomenal voice quality along with so many features I have been playing with that program for over a decade plus and not consistently, but I get lost in some of the settings and permissions yeah. that, that are there. It, it, it's easy, right? I can see why people don't like to use it. It's overwhelming. It, it costs money for one, right? Like that's right. a huge hurdle for some people. Um, it requires a server. Like there's all these things that TeamSpeak doesn't do right, which fast forward a few years and you get, discord discord was that upgrade to skype if you will right it Mm -hmm. was that here is a program that's free it's easy the ux the ui everything just was it was awesome there was a place where you could have more rich text integrations with your friends and um, you could set up multiple channels and it was very simple with the click of a button you and your friends could be in a server playing a game talking to each other right the ui over so easy yeah right yeah super simple implementation and that was what we had for a few years that was discord or team speak and i think a lot of people because of the way discord made it so simple a lot of people have latched on and gravitated towards discord still but now we're in 20 go ahead oh so you say still even to this day they still 
Yeah. I think they're out. So here's what I'll say, because Gilded, you're going to dive into that again, because Gilded is, it was born from Discord, basically. It's yes. so similar. It's the next iteration. Yeah. So Discord, though, I will say this. I think as a, as a communications platform, not pertaining to how I want to do things or how we do things in our organization or Star Citizen, just as a communications platform, Discord is superior because it's been around longer and it does a lot of things better and it's just more widely used. Because yeah. if I want to go my, do cryptocurrency, um, I can literally find anybody on Discord. There are these really, really powerful groups of people uh, as far as like understanding knowledge about crypto, that kind of power. Yeah. Like you can go find them on Discord. And I, I met people who don't even do video games and they're like, oh yeah, have you heard of Discord? I'm like, yeah, I haven't heard of Discord. Are you crazy? They're like, yeah, it's uh, it's great. It's for crypto. I'm like, no, it's f not, but it's used <laughs> like that, right? So, right. like, Discord has so much variety. People use it to communicate. It's, like, probably one of the best-kept secrets on the Internet. And, like, I don't know why other companies don't do it, use it. Like, if I was yeah. – I've, I've been in the corporate world. Well, the world. predecessor to that was Slack. Slack. Um, have you ever heard of Slack? Yeah, that's right? what I used in the corporate world was Slack. And yeah, it, it's slacking, too. So, Discord does – I think a lot of things better than Slack and stuff like that. Um, Discord simplified it, right? It did. Discord allows file uploads, video uploads, uh, image uploads, right? Very and, intuitive. And I, on a basic level, it's very intuitive and very easy to use, right? And so that's why so many people have gravitated towards this. But you brought up something interesting. Is there's tons of Discords full of information. Have you ever actually tried to go into those Discords and search that information Right. That's it becomes difficult. That's the problem right? when you're or, amassing information there to go back and look right. at later. If, it's hard. If you're the the moderator, right, or the administrator of these discords, it becomes increasingly hard to keep your information <laughs> organized. Oh, the search function um, is so bad in discord. The I, search function is fucking <laughs> it's it's there. It exists. As far right? as uh, there is a search button as far as getting and it's gotten better basic people together i think discord is the superior program do i like it i don't like discord as much as i like gilded i, I prefer gilded but i think discord has the market right now and i think it's shifting though but that's just if you're uh, uh, yeah i agree if you're a group of 10 to 50 people who are intim intermittently online and you yeah three four guys a night that maybe show up out of this you know, smaller group of individuals, the discord is the place for you, right? It, it really is. is. But once you start going beyond that, right? Like once you start thinking like, okay, well now I need to write down SOPs. Well, I got Google docs. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. So I'll create a Google docs channel in discord and I'll link all that stuff there and I'll title it so that it's easily search searchable, all this other stuff, stuff, right? But then you start to get into format problems and if your list gets too long, now it's lost. And yeah. now people just don't even, it's too much information for people to even look at. And, and I would guarantee that 50% of the people, 50% of Discord, you, well, let me not use an absolute here. My wife yells at me for that all the time. <laughs> a large majority of the people who use Discord have zero, zero are tracking on zero idea that there's a, a search function right or how yeah. to use it properly yeah right? it's it's more like a an instagram or a twitter almost for gamers yeah i can it's come in it's, I can it's hang instant out. gratification look yep. how cool this thing is i just did Whoa. post picture get a reaction boom move it on to the next topic right right it and is. then if, very if you're out instagram. for if you're out for a day or two you don't check your discord like you're gonna be scrolling for you hours know, hours just to find you that know, one just thing. to catch up. i do that every morning and out of just to catch the, up i i can't even keep on I, I don't I, yeah honestly it's probably over 50 discord servers that right. i'm in and it's excellent and the to ones stay that i connected but it's really hard like you're getting at to just find yeah. information that's pertinent to what you need so yeah that's where gilded comes well it's in. come it, I love that you said Instagram because it's come turned into this Instagram thing. Bro, why aren't you following me on my Discord server, bro? Why'd you leave my Discord server, bro? Yeah. Well, um, I, I'm not <laughs> interested in any of the information that's in there. Right. Um, I don't check it regularly enough for me to even keep up with the conversation. And you haven't said shit to me in over four and a half, five months. So why would I stay in that Discord server? Right. right. It's called pruning. Cut, yeah. cut the branch. Because that Discord tree um, tends to grow out of control. Next thing you know, you're in 50 think, servers. Discord's greatest 
like strength is also one of its greatest weaknesses is how simple it is right uh, you yes. can have a discord i can have a discord mal like, can uh, have a discord your cat can have a discord your neighbor's dog has a discord mm -hmm. the guy on instagram has two discords one for his fucking instagram and one for his fucking twitter right like and, and you see what's yeah. starting to happen here is now every friend has their own discord server with their own friends who have discord servers and because it's so simple there's this weird web of like well i gotta be in this server to talk to these people in this server to talk like yeah if too you're much. Yeah, it makes for like extreme specializations and and really specific niche groups. Yeah, which is cool. Right, but yeah, when you're trying to organize, it's just it's a little harder to, or to manage. Them. Even better hmm. that I've seen, and and again, not to knock these communities, but some communities have three or four Discord servers for different functions within their community. Yeah, come on, man. That's that a, is that that's is a lot. That's tough to keep up with. It really is tough because if you're communicating with one organization. Mm -hmm. two or three organizations and they each have three or four servers not that's already 12 16 servers you, you, it's too much it is and we're experiencing that right now because we still have one foot in discord but we're we're fully operational and gilded but the yeah. rest of the star citizen community is not so we're like right we're dabbing we, we still keep our toes in discord for they're meeting people they're getting there yeah I think um, once people realize how similar disc or gilded could be to discord and they can get over some like really basic hurdles, which I remember when discord released, I remember the very first implementation of discord and downloading it and going, wow, this is actually really cool. And people going, uh, why would I use discord when I have Skype? Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> I'm not moving to discord. That sounds complicated. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. And we all know now how super simple, like your grandma probably has a Discord. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. It's it's caught on. It's it's branched out of gaming, and it's like in every facet of everything now. Yeah. It's it's but cool to see. Is, but The point of, the, the reason I bring that up is because we, we are evolving again, right? We, we have yeah. another platform that has taken lessons learned from discord from team speak mumble roger wilco right like skype and said well forums is another one right like everyone likes to on the internet i i read stuff on communications all the time because i'm a weird dude but mm -hmm. i read an article where you know somebody was basically just detesting the fact that discord is replacing forums and reddits right and it had a really I can't articulate how that individual did about that article. If I can find it, I'll share it. But basically like, no, 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 no. You need to understand what types of communication you are actually doing and then use the correct platform for that type of communication. Right. Saying that Discord can replace forms, Reddit, instant messaging, video calling, call, you know, phone calling. It can do all those things, but it's not str it, like. It's like a jack of all it, trades. Master of none. Ma Master of none. Yes. Right. Exactly. Which um, I I'm sure everyone good. listening has a server that has a shitload of channels, right? Yeah. That yep. you only ever maybe go to five, right? Or <laughs> worse, there's 80 categories, right? And you got to like click the button to fucking mute them all. So you're not scrolling for the time it took Moses to cross the Red Sea to get to the bottom to the fucking channel you want, right? Yeah, it's some of those servers are humongous, and like you'll never Just, explore everything. You're like, oh, I'm only here for this, right? Yeah, so, so we go back to that search function, which right. is it's atrocious there in, in, in Discord. <laughs> it's, it's there. So, like, but Gilded has taken those. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. So when it comes to Star Citizen, because uh, obviously this is a Star Citizen podcast. If you're here, you came for the Star Citizen. So when yeah. it comes to Star Citizen orgs. Like, everyone's in Discord, right? That's, like, the go-to place to go. Um, and if you're a casual, yeah, go there. Stay in Discord. Stay there. Um, yep. it, it will suffice your needs. But if you grow past 10, 11 people, like, you're going to run into problems if you grow in Discord. Let's Very be quickly. honest. So the the pros, right, the guys that are out there for their serious PvP or PvE or whatever they are, 
they're really using TeamSpeak or Gilded. And yeah, I think Gilded is the superior. It's it's easier. Gilded is is fantastic. But the point is, you need more layers to your communications. If yes. you're going to do high-level things in Star Citizen. So if you're listening to this, if you have been listening, uh, maybe tuning into our channel or seeing what's out there, like, if you want that, you need to upgrade your comms to do these things. Like, period. Yes. If you're going to coordinate high-level things, you need high-level comms, high-level communications in text and in voice. And so the Gild Echo dove into Gilded, and I would not have. I would have gone to TeamSpeak, but we've tried both, right? So why take us through that process, Echo. Why did you yeah. pick Gilded for the privateers? And you tried well, it comes on, on our last org too, but they just gave you the finger. Uh, and they ended up using it anyway. So yeah, weird. Watch me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I dove into Gilded initially because, um, I, you know, and I'm with you. Like I'm a Teamspeak dude through and through. I I love Teamspeak. I love the level of of detail and minutia that I can achieve in there. Like layering comms, right? There's plenty of mods to really kind of put you in the mood, I guess, if you will, tactically oh, yeah. with immersive you know, squelches and yeah. yeah, immersive audio, Radio right? Like, and again, ear. TeamSpeak Ooh. does that really well. Hmm. And so when you're developing a community, you really have to kind of like look forward into the future a little bit and understand like, okay, lessons learned from prior, you know, communities or organizations or groups that I've been in, like what was important, what wasn't, or what it, do I want to focus on that maybe wasn't focused on in these other groups, right? And for me, that was the collection and presentation of information, right? So it had to have a strong text presence. Well, if you look at the two options available, like most widely known, TeamSpeak and Discord, neither one of them really present information in a way that I wanted, right? Which was like an archivable, uh, well-searched, well-laid out, easily organized manner okay mm -hmm. um it's either i get a list of fucking categories and channels um and i gotta spend hours making that stuff look good or i get this tiny little box that i can you know shrink and, and lower <laughs> yeah. in team speak and there's no happy medium there is no happy medium there so i looked into gilded initially thinking like all right well here we go here's another discord clone this what could be better and i couldn't have been further from the truth on that yeah um the way that that gilded displays not only information but then takes some of that voice um that that layering of voice communications with whisper lists and um you know being able to risk whisper to specific roles um and assign those roles to people specific people and cross talk through channels that yeah. really sealed the deal for me right it was a place that i could say okay we can set a foundation here and all the text information that I spend hours that you, I, and the other members in the community spend writing, this can be displayed in a way that's easily consumable for somebody, right? Yeah. But at the same time, when we want to get weird uh, audibly, we have this layered system that TeamSpeak had. So it took text from Discord, made it better, and it took um, voice from, from TeamSpeak and and not dumbed it down but simplified it a little bit right yeah so that it wasn't as daunting to deal with as it is in team speak right yeah um and there's just so many ways uh, the basic structure in gilded is you have a server right within that server you can have multiple groups and those can be game oriented groups they could just be like they could be anything you want them to be really but those groups then exist within those groups you have channels and categories just like you do on a discord server yeah but the difference is, is tightly packaged yeah it's mm -hmm. really well done and then one step further than that um discord or gilded offers i think it's 10 channel types right not all of them are, are applicable or really kind of work right yeah you they're know, still they, developing a lot of it right yeah, Gilded yeah. is definitely in a, uh, I wouldn't say in a development phase, but they are definitely early implementation phase. And mm -hmm. 
as we use it more and give feedback and provide, you know, uh, uh, bug reports and things like that, it, it only gets better, which I imagine is what people on Discord when it first came out had to do as well. You right. Know? And look where Discord is now. We're five years later and Discord is a fucking powerhouse. So, yeah, we um, just the amount of organization we've achieved with Gilded. Um, and we're a fairly new organization. We've been in Star Citizen organizations before um, Echo and I. Like, we've been up for almost a year now. I mean, this, well, technically Followed we've been up year. for a year. And but, a summer. Yeah, we weren't really actively recruiting. We were building out our organization prior to, right. before we opened the gates to anybody. Um, and just the things we do, just to make this more tangible for you listeners, if you're in an org right now <laughs> and you're sick of getting talked over, like how many times? Raise your hand to yourself. If you've been in a Discord server trying to conduct something pretty serious, maybe run a jump town operation or maybe like get a new guy up to speed and then somebody comes in and be like, ah, I guess what, you know, Nikola Tesla's alive again. Like, or, or hey, have you heard about my cat's asshole? Right, that's that goes right. go to. Somebody interrupts you all the time. And so we got away with that. So that's something tangible that you can do. You can have way more control over who comes in and enters your comms. You can have way more control, more organized areas for that. Um, some other things. You can store and hold information about other organizations. Like if we have someone that's an enemy to us in the verse or uh, someone that we're having an ally for. So all you guys who are allies with the privateers, be aware we are stacking up information about you and dossiers. We're tracking that uh, because we think it's important to know about who's adjacent to us, right? We want to we want to archive right. these things, and it's Cap all, capabilities. Yes, capabilities. You know everything. And if if we have a certain player, like a certain guy who we know is a griefer, uh, we're gonna have information on him. So you can say, oh, who is this guy? And I'm like, oh, I think we have a a dossier about that dude because we just know how to handle him. And then we we pull him up, and it's like. You know, flamethrower thirty one seventy seven. He's a total griefer XX. and yeah, XX sixty nine, yeah. <laughs> and he right. he's a total griefer and he flies this spaceship all the time and he does these things and you know you can usually find him online from this time to that. So like it's archivable. Same thing with SOPs. Echo says it. We say a lot of acronyms on here, a lot, and it might go right over our viewers' heads. So we apologize about that. So message us in the notes. You'll, if in the comments, you'll always get an answer if you don't know what the acronym we say is. But SOP is your standard operating procedure. And people go, that's, oh, I've met people that like, that's, that's stupid. That's dumb. That's a waste of time. I just want to play. Okay, when you're not for us, so have a good one. We're the guys that will come in with a 12-man squad and wipe the floor with you because we have SOPs. Standard operating procedures that we well, do not only that, but it it time. doesn't require like me or DAF to always be available right. to make sure that people are doing like okay, guys a thing the same way. Like all of us do the same thing, yeah, in an efficient manner because it's written out and it's available for people to review if they want to. Right? Like, what was that drop procedure again? What was red light? Oh, let me go to this document mm -hmm. that's right here really well core you know organized and, and categorized i know exactly where to go and look and click on it and go oh yeah red light means yeah. okay we're doing this right yeah what was and it that alleviates little thing? a lot of these questions while we're playing like what's red light how does red oh, light wait. work again what does green light mean right. you know <clears throat> read the document man it's yeah right there go and read every the everyone that comes into our community is expected to read things it's beautiful <clears throat> like I, there's a lot of people on the internet there's a lot of gamers that don't read shit there's just a lot of people in the world today that don't read shit. You know, you read the article headline and then you know everything about it somehow. And it's, you know, I, I've, I'm guilty of that too. I'll find something that is to my, is, it has reinstated my opinion. I'll read the first paragraph and I'll be like, yeah, huh, argument one. So like, you know, suck it, internet. suck it guys. So we put a lot of emphasis in our community and you can take this or leave it for your community or not, but read our documents right? We, we put these things out there. Oh, because in Star Citizen, there's a lot of little details, you know, like, you know, okay, where, where do I need to meet that up change with you guys? And yeah. change often. They often change. What What's my uniform? What kind of equipment do I need to be a, a privateer and, and jump out of the Where can of, I get that uniform? Right. How much does it cost me? Right? Exactly. Like, these are all things that we have as a community searched, placed on a document, and then put into Gilded for newer members that come into the community 
Mm -hmm. to quickly identify instead of having to field the same question from every cherry that comes in. Hey, what uniform is that? What piece of armor is that? How much does it cost? Where is it? Go read the document. It's right there. Yeah. Like you should have read that when you came in, but it's right there. We don't give answers out. Like occasionally we do. We're like, Hey, it's, you know, it's that, but like, if you're new, self-taught, we're a self-taught community. Yes. Like we have run, we have run into a majority of the issues and problems and probably have answered a bunch of questions already. We just don't feel like fucking repeating ourselves. And we hope that you're mature enough that, you know, you would go and seek the answer yourself before coming into a weird, you know, a tactical communication channel when we're doing bunkers or something and trying to practice something and go, hey, what's up, guys? Uh, hey, so uh, what's the best Super Hornet loadout? Yeah. What's up? You know? Like, yeah, don't talk to we're us We're not right even now. on Super Hornets right now. Yeah, we're know? doing something different. Right. Yeah, like there's there's so, a time if if you see us in a public channel in our server, that's when you can come do that. But yeah, still, gilded, I, gilded I, and I know somebody's going to be like, "Well, I could do that in Discord, no problem." And I'm not saying that Discord can't do that. What I'm saying is, is that gilded does that, but it does it better, right? It's mm. it's more organizable. You can lock information from certain people. You can give information to certain people or roles or groups of people or however you want now i will say gilded has a long way to go there's some things and some quality of life stuff that discord did not have which if you're just using discord for the first time and telling me it's the greatest program in the world cool you weren't there for the beginning of discord it was a fucking nightmare it sucked (laughs) um but it worked it it was what we had and now this is in my opinion gilded is that next iteration so yeah it's the next level why why is that voice com layer layering so uh important to us in star citizen yeah because you got a lot of that's the great question to ask and i think a lot of people who have been in orgs have run into this problem they know the answer you have a lot of moving parts you got air support you got ground you got ground vehicles you know medical now you got all these different things that need to talk to each other like you're still listing them there's even more that i'm not talking about there's so many elements that need to communicate and the answer is definitely not putting 20 motherfuckers in a Discord channel and hoping you can just get the job done. So so maybe I just put them in their own separate Discord channels. Yeah, but then how do you talk to each other, right? Right. That's the question. So that becomes – and that's the really the Achilles heel for for Discord for me is, is that I can't cross-channel talk. Yeah. If I could cross channel talk, this probably wouldn't even be happening. Right yeah, now. we. Like, I would probably just be in Discord. Right. That if, if I probably if, wouldn't, but well, yeah, there's more that Gilded does. But if if Gilded could do that, like we probably wouldn't have chosen Gilded as a as a solution. Yeah, you know, uh, or Teamspeak. But for, for that us, matter, but. the the ability to store and and categorize that information and then have those layered comms, right? So the ability to use a whisper list. Like we just, na- what would you name off? Like four, five assets yeah. right, in, in a game. And it, if you got three people here, you got five people here, you got four people there, you got eight people here and two people here. Do all those people need to be talking to each other or over each other about their specific role in that particular plan? No. No. They need their own pods to be able to discuss that. Pods. Stuff. Yep. That was but the then how, how do you how do these five groups then talk to each other? And that's where whisper lists come in, right? Yeah. We can set, we use the terminology frequency or freak, right? But like, yeah, we treat it like a radio. Be, yeah, we really yeah. do. And it's, you know, Hey, uh, all the leadership for these five elements go to freak one, assign yourself freak one. Mm-hmm. And now those that one person from each one of those groups can now talk to each other. Yeah. Right? And they can know, Okay, the medical guys are in route to the ground guys, right? Mm-hmm. Or the 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 space, the, you know, the air asset is coming down to pick the ground guys up, right? Like, hey, we need a pickup. Ground air guy says, okay, cool, we're coming, right? But these guys didn't have to hear that because they're still actively engaged in combat. Yeah. Oh, by the way, we're actively engaged in combat, so be careful when you come down. Roger that, and then he tells his guys in his pod, hey. We're going to pick up the ground guys. They're actively engaged in combat. Turrets up and ready. You know what I mean? And all of that is happening simultaneously without all of these 25, 30 people talking over each other. Yeah. It's awesome. And like 
because we call them as set frequencies, we have frequency one through eight, and we never name them. We don't say this is the tactical net air channel, this is the butt plug channel, this is that channel. They're just channels on a radio. So every single op, <clears throat> we can just put out that document. And guess what? We can post it in Gilded, and it will stay in the same place. So people can yep. go look at it and say, hey, f- here's here's the five-paragraph order. Here is the actual yeah. Frago, the Warno, the warning order. This is what I'm doing. So, oh, I'm in the ground element team, and I'm actually, maybe we have a radio operator in the future. We had, we don't currently. Maybe I'm a team lead. So I'm like, what frequencies should I be tied into as blue team leader on the ground? And it's on that document, so I see it. I'm like, oh. So then I just click on my name and add it, just like you would a role in Discord. It's like a one-for-one. One. And these frequencies are actually roles you add yourself to. So then, And that exponentially gets worse. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Finish your statement. Yeah. So then it's just so simple. I'm like, okay, I'm the team leader for, for red team. Cool. Uh, I need to be on frequency one for command. And then uh, maybe frequency five, that's to talk to the dropship pilots so I can coordinate with them. Okay. So let's see. I need a, a push to talk for my team, uh, push to talk for in game. That's already bound on the keyboard. So push to talk for my team, push for, talk for the, my, my teammates. I can't even talk. Uh, in-game push to talk, my teammates. And then I'm also a leader, so I need to be tied into these two. And so for some people, that just boggles your mind. You're you're already baked. You're like, ah, I can't even do that. Set up whisper keybind. But it's so simple because we have people set up different things. Like you should have at least three key button keybinds available. What are some things that you do, Echo, to av- make keybinds more available to you? Because this is huge I mean, for communication. I, I did not realize how popular 60% keybirds are in 2021 and 2022. Um, I guess it's a look thing for most for most people, which, hey, good on you, man. You got a vision for your desk and you want it to look a certain way. I got it. I get it. Um, but if you're playing a game as complex as Star Citizen, I would argue like, you know, I don't know. Like, good idea. But there, there, there are ways that you can... So, let me answer the question. The question is, how do I handle the comms? I, again, I'm a nutbag, okay? I'm crazy. I'm a weird dude. The way I do it is I have a stream deck, I have a full-size keyboard, and I have an MMO mouse. The MMO mouse allows me to set weird keys on my keyboard to push the talks, right? And then bind those keys to my mouse so that I have access at my thumb to the, all those channels. So mm-hmm. it doesn't reach, I'm not reaching across my keyboard. I'm not, yeah. you know, my hands are where they need to be because I bought the correct equipment to make that happen. Right. And, and to say like, this is unachievable without that equipment. I disagree. Cause I, there were years I went without actually first real serious arm, group I got into, I bought an MMO mouse. So I've been on an MMO mouse forever, even yeah. though I play FPS games. Um, just and having you can access get them for to like buttons. 50 bucks or less if they're used. Yeah. You, yeah, yeah. You could get really decent. Um, yeah. Uh, if so that's you're a playing Star Citizen, I would argue like an MMO mouse is more useful than I think you think it is, right? Um, how many of you have stream decks laying around, right? Um, I use a program called Voice Meter. I you'll hear in some of my videos that I upload to the channel. Well, actually, Daft will have them too, but yeah. you'll hear comms coming out of two years, and that's because we use Voice Meter to sort of separate Discord from Gilded when we have to be in both. And one kicks in one ear, one kicks in the other, so that we, from a physical standpoint, know who's talking to us immediately. Like, it doesn't have to be voice, like, recognition. It's just right ear is gilded. That's the one I'm, that's my team. That's the one I want to listen to. So I can tune out left ear, right? Um, Or, hey, I'm always listening. And the last event I did with, um, where I was in both, it's, you know, Echo, and I hear this, Oh, okay. And I need to listen to my left ear because somebody just said my name. Yeah. Zach, yeah. Rekka, what's up? So those you know. are all solutions for keybinds. You nailed all three of them, dude. <laughs> have a full size keyboard. I currently don't. Yeah. I have a 60% keyboard. I think it's actually a 70% because I still have arrow keys. Um, but yeah, I, I was like, man, I really missed that. But I, I have a stream deck that I use and I have a game pad because Right. I got my joysticks all set up. I'll, I'll post a picture sometime on the Instagram, yeah. see what you guys think. But, yeah, I, the, the point is you you find an option for more keybinds, 
and then you you use it. You have to implement yeah. it. I think an MMO now, mouse is probably the best way to go. Three keybinds is like, I mean, that's some crazy level shit. I mean, you're really talking to a lot of people. Yeah. If you're using three keybinds, in reality, it's really kind of just I on a daily basis. I have four keybinds uh, set at all time, but they're all set to my mouse, so it doesn't matter. I have a I have a push to talk for Discord. I have a push to talk for Gilded. And then I have the two in-game push to talks on my mouse. And then if yeah. I need a fifth one, I just bind it and set it to my mouse. And it's yeah, I set it and forget it. And I I I it does not interrupt my gameplay at all. Some of you might be thinking, like, well, I can't handle all those comms in my ear. Well, don't take those positions, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, this is a very sometimes I like just being niche. a rifleman because I, I can't handle that shit all the time. So I'll just slot as a rifleman and just be like which way do you want me to point, boss? Yeah. And I'm not in any of those comms. Yeah, this is for uh, a lot of friction. And also, hey, Mal, I don't, could you turn up my headset a little bit? I'm not quite hearing myself. Yes. Um. Anyway, yeah, if you're having uh, some issues, uh, I'm sorry, I don't even think I can hear myself at all. Um. Anyway, so as far as, oh, this is shorting out, that's why. Check the power button on the underside of the headphones. I can't hear you because this just shorted out. Ugh. Well, that makes sense. Do you want me to grab the other one? Okay, how about now? Nothing. I can't hear shit. Sorry, dude. Okay, now I'm good. Don't know what happened there. <coughs> I'll cut that out. It might have been the power button on the other side, on the underside of the headphones. People will hit that every now and then and be like, oh, what happened? Okay. Um, so anyway, key binds, <laughs> right? Those, are, those yeah. are for a very high level, like in leadership. You're going to be in a point of friction where you have a lot of comms in your ear. So that's what we're kind of talking about right now. Maybe we should well, and come back. Some to of this. the leaders might be saying, "Well, like, what's the difference between stuff and twenty-five guys in a channel?" Then, if I'm going to be hearing all these comms, <laughs> the difference is is that you can target those comms how you want them, right? Like, you don't have to hear the ground team's ground communications while you're trying to talk to the air leader, right? Like, all that stuff gets mixed in and. Uh, Honestly, at any point in time, you should really only have two push to talks. Yeah. Like we're trying to get it. I'm crazy. So I'm going to always have a fuck ton of push to talks. But in reality, it should just be your internal comms, whatever pod you're in. Right. And then one external comm reaching out and that's it. And then that guy mm -hmm. that you're connected to might have an external comm. He's reaching out to. Right. Yes. It's like um, if, so if anyone's like, played squad, right. Basic level. There's a proximity comms. Talk to your teammates, like if you're in close close proximity. And then there's a squad radio comm. That's it. Two buttons. It's Bravo on your keyboard. B is in Bravo. V is in Victor. Super easy with your left thumb. Just do 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 do. Um, and then if you want to get into squad lead level, then you have a command comm. So you have three: command net, my squad, and then anyone who's in proximity to me. Three. And that's about as, as complex as we get in Star Citizen, unless you're a actual, like, you're, you're leading the entire mission, the op, you're, a, um, you're doing battle tracking and all that stuff. That's where Echo has four to five. Um, well, and, but, but even then, it's, in reality, it's still only a gilded push to talk. And uh, right. a proxy a com. Frequency, a, a frequency push to talk and a Discord push to talk. Yeah. And that's it. Like it's three. It's three. You know what I mean? Yeah, you can do three. And you can do more. But if you're but it's just if you're three. exclusive to Discord or uh excuse me, gilded, then it it's even less than that because I don't even need my Discord yeah. uh, push to talk. Because in all reality, those leadership billets should be in should be able to communicate with each other, right? Yeah. Um, and then those elements should be able to communicate within their own pods. So it's, again, it's still only two. Right. You know? So um, 
another thing we kind of glossed over is is PTT. <laughs> there's a debate. Like, there's a lot of lazy gamers there, there out isn't. there. Not with me. There's, there's not, not a, a debate, debate with us. Yeah, but there there's a lot of lazy gamers out there that will fight you tooth and nail mm-hmm. to stay on voice activated stream of consciousness. Just whatever I'm saying to you, you have to hear me because I'm busy clicking on my clacking on my keyboard. Right. It's insane. But it's a convenience for you, the individual. Yeah. It's not a convenience for anyone else. Yeah. Yeah. We don't need to uh, to hear what you're eating, to hear what's going on in the background. You know, if your mom's yelling at you to do homework. Um, right. So this kind of leads us to, I think it's part, it's tied to communications. But if, if you're out there doing an org and you want to get serious, like we have, we have a 21, 21 years and above age limit. Because of comms, right? right? That's probably one of the main reasons we do that. You have to be, t- if you want to be a Brandris privateer, right? You have to have, you have to be 21 and up because we're not, <laughs> we're not dealing with that. I think we all know the little, the little pipsqueaks on the internet. Like they have lots of places to be. They have lots of places yep. to go. Just not with us. Um, when you get older, yeah, you come join us, but No. So comms is, is part part of ha- having good comm structure is having a backbone on the internet with people and <laughs> telling them to stop talking. At a like, maturity. At a maturity level. Um, and I think yeah, we, we dove right into platforms and Discord and Gilded and TeamSpeak. But really, if we were to just, just really, because guess what? I, I'd submit this to you. And you've seen this in, in TeamSpeak channels. You had like 100 plus people in one channel, right? doesn't matter if it was Discord, Gilded, team speak or whatever in this instance it was in team speak but the point was everybody in that team speak was on voice activation right oh, they were in oh i'm sorry Go ahead. yeah in your story right so a no, hundred they're people, not on voice activation okay so they just weren't talking they're on ptt right. that's a rule for a lot of groups which i think is good um but nobody was talking they were all in the same voice no. channel and nobody said a freaking word because they were no. there for a specific reason and they had a maturity level. And it was like, well, how they many? understood the process, right? There was, a, there was a, a laid out process for how to get into that server and play that session, right? Like, and everyone, mm-hmm. all 100 plus, 125 plus people in that channel knew, like, I show up at this time, I shut my mouth until this person talks. When this person talks, then I do what that person said. And when once I've done what that person said and the server's loaded up, I'm free to fucking talk to talk to whoever I want to. Yeah, yeah. And there was a designated place for them to talk in proximity comms, right. so you can yeah. be in game talking to each other. And this is the power, right? And this is Arma with the Acre mod, right? And this is the power of Teamspeak that maybe Gilded gets to one day. I, I don't know. I hope so. I, it would be cool. I, I don't know what that implement. Maybe it's a bot. I, I don't know. Maybe that I'm not sure what that implementation. So if you're a fucking bot maker, like Gilda's got an API. So get to bot botting. Get to me. botting. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this is so it, it was a mod for the game of Arma that utilized TeamSpeak and Arma's VoIP system to sort of have, you know, how many, however many people you wanted to in a single channel, not multiple channels, but a single channel and through, you know, uh, the, 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 I don't want to use the word fluff, but, you know, simulating a military radio and then using like, I mean, if you think about yourself in real life, you can talk to someone face to face proximity, right. And then you could talk to somebody on as many radios as you can carry. Right. Which is not and many. So, <laughs> yeah, you're never going to have one. Well, there's a couple of radios where you can have one push to talk, but, but you're still going to have to flip through those channels. There's like, mm-hmm. you know, that's just the, if I want to talk to the ground guys, I'm going to have to, boop, 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 you know, and then, oh, hey, what's up? This is so and so. What's up, ground guys? Right. Yeah. Or I want to talk to air. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Hey, what's up, air dudes? This is so and so. Right. And like, You'll have to, and it's easier in real life to sort of sit like to do that. It's hard to simulate in a video game, but I think Gilded does a really good job at trying to do that, right? Instead of you physically having to stop what you're doing and change channels, you literally have to bind a button. Yeah. Like, that's it. And the most we ask for people, <clears throat> this will be SOPs. So, like, for most, and we're still tweaking this, so we might change it, but this is an idea we're throwing around. 
Um, if Echo and I are on an op in Star Citizen and we die, like we're dead, dead, cannot be resuscitated, uh, we need to go back and, and get our, our kit and come back to the fight somehow. We It's just kind of SOP. Like a, you, you leave your voice channel. It's like I have to tab out and go into Gilded. It's like me switching a frequency on a real radio. And I, I join a channel uh, with our dropship pilot and r- coordinate with him our, our uh, reinforcements, like the next wave. So when we can basically join the fight again. And it's just, hey... Guess what? We lost two. Roger that. And it's just happening. Oh, I died. Okay. I'll see you guys in a minute. I leave my channel. Go back and like, oh, hey, you died? Yeah, what's up? Now we're in an isolated channel. Okay, well, uh, I'm at this station. Yeah, I'm here too. Cool. Uh, give me two minutes to get my gear. Okay, we're done. You, no, you got one minute. Okay, shit. So you get there and you you do what's needed. It's just like a little protocol, like, hey, I'm died. And that way it's visual, too. That's a part of the communications that Gilded is so great at. Echo, if he's the ground force commander and he's looking at red team, blue team, and potentially a third team, right, and he sees that red team only has three people in it, he's like, oh, damn, where'd they go? Oh, oh, and he looks up. Oh, they're in the dropship channel because they all died. I remember I got that comms over. over out of all the traffic going through Echo's ear, he's like, ah, I saw it, you know. For us there. specifically, that's nice for battle tracking. So I know which, if I'm a ground force commander for something, I know which team is like not half fucking <laughs> yeah. dead. It's like, right? like I don't want to send a half dead team in to go assault something. I'd rather send my best, most full team in to go do that, right? More guns, mm-hmm. more dead enemy. So like having that visual, and again, like Daph said, it's a form of communication. Communicating is just transferring information from one human to another. You can do that audibly. You can do that visually. You can do that with body language. Like there's 101 ways to communicate with people, right? There is. Um, so them moving out of that channel physically, um, you know, I have obviously have multiple monitors, right? So I can track that stuff out of the corner of my eye and see like, oh shit, oh red team's like fucking half dead. Okay, blue team, you're up. Let's go, baby. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, and it's it. You just brought up some other good points there. You have monitors to help facilitate that visual comms. Right, so there is, if you want to get high-level communications in any video game community, you need to have some equipment to help facilitate that. Just like in real life, I would need a radio with multiple channels. Uh, you, need, you need a few PTT talk, or uh, you need a few keybinds available. Um, and a second monitor is crucial. All right, we're talking like Not necessary, gear. but it is, it is nice. To, it's a nice to It's have, nice. Right? Like it, it... Mm-hmm. Because tabbing in and we're... out of a game is not not going to help you even if you practice it i mean it's just there's better right we're not saying go buy a second monitor but we have a lot of people that that play star citizen with us and we're like like oh hold on i i got a tab out we're like oh oh you don't have a second monitor i'm like all right cool that's fine yeah but like it, it slows us down too so when we're here to, we're not we don't log on to pleb like we log we're on adults to, here. Yeah, we're, we're, we're adults. not we're not 15 year old kids who can't afford a second monitor. And I and yes. I understand that everybody is in the best financial shape. And what we're what we're offering you is how we do it. Right. Mm-hmm. And what makes sense for us in the most efficient ways we found to be able to voice communicate with our 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 group um, while playing Star Citizen on these large scale, you know, Xeno threats coming up, for example, yeah, we're going to have three large um elements a logistics element a ground force element and an air asset right and within each of those elements there's going to be sub elements and those sub elements may not may or may not need to talk with the adjacent sub elements so structuring all that out and figuring that out dude and that's probably the best example of your comm structure because there are different ways to do it and echoes figured out some cool shit Gilded allows for it, so we used that. And back in August, when Xeno Threat was kicking off, we really did an awesome, like multi-org, uh, huge event. And the folks that were in that had Gilded and downloaded it and and stuck around with us, like it, things went off without a hitch. It was crazy just watching everybody do their part. And then it was like There's so 36, 38 people in that involved. I with think that uh, organization we or had that event more. We had more that were involved in the server, but like 
one guy, only one guy was in Gilded being a tether to another 10 guys in, in Discord. Oh, yeah, remember. that's right. So, yeah, in our Gilded, we had 30. I think at one point we had 40. So it was like 36 to 40 people at the whole time. And, like, nobody, just we were all separate. And, like, it was just so cool to see it all stretched out. We're like, wow. And, like, yeah. I was still having a great time with my four-man, five-man team shooting the shit. And then, like, oh, hey, listen up. New new, new orders coming down. We got to do this. Cool. And then, uh, so it was really intimate with the people I like to play with. But it was so well-coordinated with everybody else. And I wasn't hearing about, you know, Uncle Tony's restaurant and, and cat's assholes and shit like that. It was amazing. So... It helps to keep everything running smoothly. You can still have those isolated conversations about your cat's asshole if you decide to, but it's with four people, not 40. Yeah. And you're not interrupting the other 39 people when you're talking about your cat's asshole, right? Yeah. Um, There's Discord. Because it's that. fucking rude. I mean, it's just straight up. It's it's just, it's just rude. It's rude. Like, read the ability to come into a Discord server or any server for that matter and just kind of read the room versus coming in like, kool-aid man like oh yeah it's like uh oh no we're doing something right now can you shush please you know <laughs> like that one guy you bump into who's got a soundboard yeah like and just decides to rape everybody's ear holes for no reason yeah like what dude yeah you know? yeah discord is like it's the wild west man you never know who's gonna bust down the saloon doors and start yeah yeehaw and, and let me tell you about yeah. my cat and i i applaud the the orgs and communities that do have their discord structured out and i would this yeah, yeah, yeah. this conversation is more for you guys um i know what time and pain you've spent structuring that out and organizing that um so it seems like time lost if you move to another platform mm -hmm. but i promise you it uh you can have the same level if not better organization switching to gilded amen um and 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 uh, less than a day like it, it's so easy i think now there's an actual like transfer button like you can transfer oh yeah all your roles all your uh categories and channels and everything that gilded has i think you could transfer that all over to i forgot about um, that gilded there is a yeah. legit handshake between gilded and discord and yeah it's a it little wonky so um, but you know, and you kind of have to go in and like learn and gilded is it's daunting, man. It really, there's still things that I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> um, it, yeah, it, it so is. it is daunting, but it's, it's daunting in a good way. There, I, I, the, the pros so much outweigh the cons when it comes to gilded, uh, using it as a voice communication platform. Mm -hmm. Um, even if you just did it for that, I think it would almost be worth having a gilded because discord just sucks or it doesn't suck. <laughs> I got to stop saying, in my mind, it sucks. I'm not a fan of Discord because I desire deeper level voice yes. communication. And Discord doesn't offer me that. So. Yeah, it doesn't fit our needs. So it sucks. Well, let's talk about brevity. Let's talk. Now we're on the radio, right? We got our yeah. comm structure set up. We got our layers of comm, voice comms. We're ready to rock and roll. Like, Well, we're, um, we're actually. What happens now? We're actually approaching a good time to stop because we're going to. This is going to be a two part episode, Ooh, by the way. Cliffhanger. Yeah, cliffhanger. Um, but we could maybe talk about, yeah, brevity is basically etiquette. Like they're the same thing, right? It's like a protocol, yeah. uh, on SOP of sorts. Um, mm -hmm. so maybe we could just touch on etiquette briefly and then deep dive into brevity. Cause I think brevity is a whole nother can of worms. Would you agree? Yeah. Like we could go deep on brevity. <laughs> so, um, and then terminology too, that's part of communications. Like what, what does that mean? What do we, what do you define? Yep. But as far as etiquette goes, uh, we were just talking about it. That guy who bursts in like the Kool-Aid man, you know, kicks open the double wide saloon doors. Um, when you're just for the love of God, I'll say this about etiquette. Just when you're joining someone else's server, uh, whether it's the first time or it's the 10,000th time and you've played with these people every day, just wait a second before you go. Yeah, like, wow, ah, whatever, like what's going on, you know, it's nice to be um, like, like if you hop it, like I usually do. This is my etiquette, my own personal etiquette. If I hop into a voice channel, I wait for the first time, even if it's my own, like even if it's the, the old community I've built, the gilded, the, like all this stuff. Yeah, like you're the I boss. will hop in and not say a fucking word until I'm acknowledged, because that means that there's a lull in that conversation and I haven't inter mm -hmm. interrupted them to the point. Right. They could be in the middle of some heated bounty work, you know, or chasing a fucking player down. 
Yeah. And if I start coming in and be like, yeah, guess what? Elon Musk did today. And it's like, <laughs> dude, please shut up. Right. Like, like oh, hold on a sec. Like, hey, what's up, man? But wait, wait a minute, you know? Right. Because yeah. we're figuring it's, something out. So I challenge you, the, the listener and the viewer, the next time you hop into a Discord channel, just two seconds of silence. See what happens. Yeah. You know? Yeah, pop in. And, like, if you're not hearing anything from the group, I'm, like, looking at the Discord or the Gilded icons to see if they light up because maybe my yeah, audio. Same. I have so many audio issues sometimes. I'm like, uh, is it me? But if no one's saying anything, I'll, I'll, I'll wait about five seconds and then be like, hey, what's up, guys? Oh, hey, what's up, dude? Yeah, we're doing this. Oh, cool. You know. Um, but, yeah, it's just that etiquette of pausing feeling out yeah. the room like you, you don't you come into somebody else's house and start kicking your muddy <laughs> shoes all over the place and ru rummaging through their fucking refrigerator or yeah. like eating pigs in a blanket in their blanket in their bed you know what i mean like yeah you, it's you, you knock on the door right right you wait for someone to answer and then they open the door you know it's like oh okay i'm inviting you into this conversation now yeah that's kind of how i sort of approach yeah it's like voice. It's like two people uh, in a classroom. Like oh, there's a whole class full of people and someone's teaching or whatever. Because this happens when we're doing trainings. And then somebody freaking just like, it's the equivalent of somebody just open the door. Hey, what's up? What's going on, guys? We're like, uh, excuse me, I'm in the middle of a lecture. Good, sir. Uh -huh. Take a seat, yeah, right. please. It's like you know, that happens all the time. And preemptively, we've had to tell people, you know, like someone pops in and we're like, oh, shit, we didn't do That's that. A, I love that analogy. Because how many times have you been in a classroom, college, high school, whatever, and you're sitting there listening to the teacher, you know, teach Latin, <laughs> Latin, 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 and some asshole who's <laughs> late opens the door, right? And you've looked over and went, ha, fuck that guy. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. That's you. When you do yeah. that in a Discord server, that's I'm. That's what I'm doing to you. Like, ha, ha, you're a dickhead. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you join a Discord server. It's like, ding. Hey, guys, what's up? Okay, wait a minute. Wait. Because, <laughs> like, we're yeah. talking about bino binomial nomenclature, you know? Right. <laughs> Whatever. So, like, it's you important. A that's, a, that's a great point for etiquette. Just, just wait. Breathe for a second. Read the room, you know? So that's a huge etiquette thing. The other one, just set a goddamn PTT. Just have a yep. button that you press to talk. If you are – and, like, also – I would invite everybody who's listening to this, if you know that your comms are kind of garbage, if this is new information to you, tell people to shut the hell up. There's a there's a wrong way to do it, and then there's a right way to do it. But actually, there's never a wrong way to do it. Like I've told you in other podcasts, like, you know, we, we ask a guy to be quiet. Like, hey, mute your mic, man. I'm sick of hearing your, your guy had a parrot in the background. Like, I'm sick of hearing you chew on stuff. I'm sick of hearing, like your baby cry like sorry you have a baby i respect you but like i don't want to hear it cry while i sneak up on some enemy positions you know like i don't yeah so like have I some don't care to hear about your family life at the background of your house while i'm, I'm yeah. gaming right like while i'm trying to immerse myself and forget about how shitty my day was yeah and i'm like i like good sound quality i like i like having good things right but i'm not as nitpicky as as echo or about my lovely fiance who's producing right now, Mal. Like you guys are like sound police, you know. Like I very much am. Yeah, it's, Mal will go out and yell at the neighbors if they're like, you know, sneezing too loud. She's like, "Hey, <laughs> we're recording here." Uh, so it's super important to not have that background. You make me noise. sound like a crazy person. No, well, that's why I like. <laughs> I'm, you. I'm crazy too, Mal. Don't worry. Yeah, that's why I like both of you guys. That's a good team here. We got. Um, but yeah, so that's that's All etiquette. Right. There. So cliffhanger, cliffhanger. Revenue. We'll, we'll deep dive into that. Why why is a push to talk better than voice activation? Um, fucking uh, what to what say? Did you say e etiquette more more on etiquette, like like how to, how to sort of achieve a military communication while in that layered system in your brand new gilded server. You know, yeah. it's all under the umbrella of brevity. Mm -hmm. Brevity. What to say? How to say it? What not to say is also important to know. Uh, mm -hmm. And we're talking about like, not when you're hanging out. We're talking about when you're operational. When well, yeah, when you're getting weird. When it's time to get weird. When you get right? weird, right? Like when it's not weird time, then yeah, fucking talk about your cat's asshole with forty five people in the channel. I won't be there, <laughs> but go ahead. Yeah. Uh, 
Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Thanks for joining us, guys. Um, this has been yep. Episode 9, the first part of our comms discussion. So this will be so continued. Is, is this 9.1? 9. 9.1. 9. Uh, yeah, 9.1.7.7.3. Episode 10. To episode, be continued. Yeah, so ep- t- Episode 10 will be another comms um, thing. But Echo, dude, I have to thank you publicly. Um for your efforts in establishing uh, fantastic comm procedures, doing the deep dives in Gilded and stuff like that. Um, I, I'm i not as good at that with you. as like I, I just don't soak up. If I'm really, really interested into it, I will. But for me, I, I'm like a fly by the seat of my pants. I'm like, yeah, set a key bind, let's roll. Like, oh, yeah, we got a channel for that? Like, okay, you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay, let's go. Let's get it done. But you've, deep, you've, you've done a real deep dive on this, and the community... Like this is this is our golden goose, dude. Is is your comm structure? So, my hats off to you, Echo, and anybody else who who can chime in on that who's used his comms. Everybody knows. So my, I, I appreciate well, you. Thanks, bro. man. It's it's uh, yeah. It's just meant to make the community run smoother, right? And then have it's everybody working. enjoy their day and not walk away with a fucking headache. Oh yeah. I mean, that still happens because we have to use Discord from time to time. But when we're when we're rolling with all the privateers and just in. Uh, in our gilded comms, it is just, mwah, it's just like mwah, mwah, magnifique. So I thank you for that. Um, but that's it for us today. Uh, appreciate you guys joining in again. I'm Daft Hobbit and Echo with me as always. We appreciate you guys. Uh, we'll see you next time, or rather, we'll see you on the ground in the layered comm system. In the layered, we'll see you in a layered comm system in gilded, also on the ground. <laughs> Later, guys. See ya.